I would like to share a story with you. And the story is about a boy who was born in 1643 in a small town in England called Worcester. And it was about 308 years ago, long, long time. So this boy was born in this house that you see here on the screen. And when he was born, um, he wasn't born under favorable circumstances because his father passed away before he was born. His mother was only 19 years old. And if it wasn't enough, he was born prematurely. Now, nowadays, it doesn't have to be a big deal, but back then, if it left him sick and weak for many years growing up. And then, if it wasn't enough, his mother, he couldn't really provide for the family being 19 years, years old, being left on her own. At that time, it was quite challenging for her. So one day, came along a, a priest, when this boy was three, three years old, came along a priest from a nearby village. This priest was about 70 years old, the mother only 22 at that time, and he proposed to her. And he offered her to move in with him into his vicarage in the nearby village, but there was one condition. She couldn't take the boy with her. And now for some reasons we, we don't understand and we can't understand, the mother decided to accept the marriage proposal and she moved in with the priest to this vicarage and she left the boy to be raised by her parents. And now, as you can imagine, a three-year-old boy, he doesn't understand much about life, but the one thing a child can understand and needs rejection. You can know when you were rejected by those who are supposed to love you and care for you. And now we know from this boy's life, because later from his memoirs that he was writing, that when he was growing up, he used to go to a hillside nearby the village that his mother now lived in. And he used to sit on the hillside and was just looking on that village and he was hating the mother for leaving him. He was hating the priest for taking the mother from him. And he was hating the God that the priest was supposed to represent. And now the boy, he grew up as an angry child. Later on when he went to school, he was a problem, a big problem of his small town. And he wasn't doing really well at school. He was bullying other people. And every single year when his grades were coming back home, he was getting a note which said three things. That he's lazy, will not learn, and is good for nothing. And year upon year, he was getting this message from his teachers that he's lazy, he will not learn, and he is good for nothing. But then came a day when a new teacher moved into the town and got a job in the school. And now the history doesn't tell us much about the teacher other than his name was John Houston and that he was a devoted Christian. So this teacher, for some reasons, I, I don't know, he decided to invest in this very boy. Now, I would imagine that there were many other children, maybe much easier to invest into, but he decided to take care of this little boy. And under a little care and encouragement, after a year or so, he started to see that he has great academic potential, especially in this area of maths and physics. And from this boy that was a trouble and a problem of his small town, everyone started seeing that there is more to him than what we've seen so far. And when this boy was um, in the time when he was about to leave his secondary school and go to college, John Houston, he wanted to send him to Trinity College in Cambridge. Now, so he went. He went to Trinity College in Cambridge partially paid for by John Houston. And then all the seeds that got planted in this boy's heart, they all started to come to life. And after a few years, he became a talk of the university. After yet a few years, he, become, he became the talk of the town, then the talk of the nation. And now he's the talk of the world, because we know this boy as Sir Isaac Newton. Now he's buried in Westminster Abbey. And there is an interesting sign above his grave which says, here lies a man with a mind close to the divine. And I wonder, because I see two verdicts upon his life. One verdict that said that he was lazy, will not learn, and is good for nothing. And there was another verdict which says that his mind is close to the divine. And I wonder, I don't know if you ask that question, the same as I do. Like, when was the point? Like, wh what was the point? 
when he started to transition from this verdict that he's lazy and good for nothing to the person with mind close to the divine. And if you were paying attention to that story, the answer is pretty simple. There was one man, and his name was John Houston.